Bitcoin's taking its first blow. Solana is showing its quality just by pumping when everything else is going down. Gold is oh, thinking about going up or down. But you came here to talk about Bitcoin. So let's jump straight in and only talk about Bitcoin and what happened yesterday and what is happening this morning and what possibly could happen today. With that said, my name's David Dawn. I am not a financial advisor. I am not a professional trader. I am literally just a guy sat in front of a TV screen, a monitor, talking to a microphone about red and green candles going up. I'm talking about how I manage my own portfolio, right? And when I do buy or sell my own Bitcoin or other currencies, all right? With that said, if you want to listen in, feel free, feel free to sit back, put your feet up, drink your coffee and see what my plans are for today and over the coming weeks and months with regards to Bitcoin. Bitcoin, as we can see on the weekly level, on the weekly level, we've got this, we've got this, you know, this, this possible top, we don't know, it's only Friday, we've got all the way through until Sunday evening to actually see how this plays out, it could flip it back around, uh, so let's not make assumptions that this is going down all the time, it could just spurt straight back up, because if it can go down 10,000 in five minutes, it can go up 20,000 in 10 minutes, all right, so let's just jump straight over to the daily charts now, and as you can see here, it took a tiny dip, right? It took an absolute tiny dip. If you're if you're panicking about oh sell 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 right now, don't, right? This this is just a a tiny small correction and if it was going to come down to here or down to 50, this would be a healthy correction, all right? <laughs> that down here would be a really healthy correction for it to go back up again. So Bitcoin, it, it has to let off some steam at one point. Now, at the moment, this is just pure manipulation going on, all right? It's pure manipulation going on. And as you can see here, I've got some lines on the screen, all right? And these are just me indicating where I believe the manipulation is going to go to all the time, all right? And as you can see on a bigger picture, we see here, this is the bigger timeline. This is the, the possible big targets that they're going for and possible short-term targets that they're going for. Now, but if we start seeing a pattern here, okay, it goes up and it comes back down again. So let's say this is the first manipulation here and it came down to here and it went back up again and it went up and then it kind of went up and then it come down again on a bigger scale. But let's look at this smaller scale right now, right? It went up and went down, didn't really go down that much, but it went up and it come back down like around about 50% here. And then it teetered along sidewards, nice load of, of uh, accumulation. And once again, and then it went up and it went back down again. So they bought here, they sold here, they bought it all back here again, all right? And then they bought it here, took it up, started selling it all nice and nice and slowly, dropped the price down, bought it all back up, back again, and then, took it the price up and sold it all off again here. And now they're gonna be buying it all back here. That doesn't mean to say they're selling all of their Bitcoin, but all they are doing is if you're big enough to move the market, you can move the market, right? And you can buy and sell your stuff when you want and just literally get the money sold in small rates up here. Don't move the market, keep it exactly the same. And then when you want to, when you want to flush the market and bring it down, you just bring it down and the momentum takes it with them. And everyone thinks sell, 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 sell. The world is going to end. And then they just buy it all back up again down here, right? Because if someone is selling, someone on the other side's got to be buying. And I keep saying this in the videos, right? Is why is the person selling and why are you buying, right? And you always have to think to yourself is, is that person selling because they're making money or are they selling because they're capitulating? Are you buying because of fear of missing out or are you buying because you know it's the bottom, all right? Or you, you're you buying because you know the price is gonna go up and you're gonna sell it again. So this is what you've got to think about, right? Now, I've got these points here and I've I, I put down let's jump over to the half an hour market it takes a little bit further so i've got these new all-time highs here which i've noted down so these are going to be very psychological highs here for the market just to say hey next week we're going to make a new high we're going to make a new high right and we can see here that i've made like this move minus four let's get down to the move zero and my move zero was here and how did i come up with the move zero well if you if we just come into it again and uh, we make the style 
thin like purple or something and then make the size um, what are we doing style nice and big and make it purple again and do this so you can see that it comes to this one here this is the the last the last wick of this one candle so for me this was this was move zero i was when it was here i was expecting it to come back to here now it did move around a little whoops it did move around a little bit more all right and go and go up outside of it which is fine that's why i said it was moves minus one minus two minus three minus four because as far as i was concerned this was their buying spot right and this is then the the, the place that it, it's going to go up okay and for me to see like but because as far as i'm concerned i am not buying i'm going to be selling so getting rid of something in in, in the negative and if i'm going to be buying down here i'm in the positive so that's why my number system is like this this is when the number's positive that should be a buying signal when it's negative that should be a selling signal so it's always an indicator to me this is negative right now should be should be selling right um, and it's not buying so it's hit this move zero and it went back up again and and i went i went incrementally through and went okay well this is this is a a uh, a possible uh, support zone which it broke all right and then this one here is another support zone which it then broke through as well quite easily and this is another support zone minus two and then minus three was uh, minus one so it was another support zone and as far as i was concerned and I, and i said this to my wife last night whilst we were having dinner um we we went out for a nice greek restaurant and and i said it's going to pump through this um super super easy right it's going to pump through this uh, super easy um because this bit there isn't much support there right and it did pump through it nice and easily um anyway so this is how I see things. I, I see things of where is the market going to go? I'm not looking at all of these like triangles and flags and stuff like that. That's not me. That's not me. I just care about where did the market go before and where is it going again? And how can these people best make their money, right? Because all they all these institutions care about is buying it and selling it high, right? And then buying it low, selling it high. That's the only thing they care about. And if they're short in the market, they care about selling it high and buying it back uh, low again, right, to make a profit. So I don't care about all these people with their trend lines and their, their candles and their breakout wedges and all this. I don't care about that stuff because that it's all psychology, right? And any event in the world can change the market in any way on an instant, right? If the, the market could be going in the biggest, biggest bull run ever with all of the, the, the market indicators the or the financial, everything could be absolutely saying this is going up forever. And then boom, one one fight, one political thing or world changing event could happen. I don't know, a tsunami or something. And boom, the market just instant instantly takes a 180 degree turn and it's just rapid so this is what you've got to remember is that anything in the world can suddenly just instantly change the, the sentiment of the market and you've got to be ready to know right where are the buy orders because there are banks there are institutions there are people there are people with lots of money they might not be an institution but they have lots of money that said well in the event right because i've got patience in the event that it comes down here on a flash sale, I'm gonna buy a whole ton of it because it's cheaper. So it hits here, and this is where you get these big wicks because some huge whale has said, I've got patience, I'm gonna put my money here. And if it ever gets here, I'm gonna buy it. And they don't look at it, they're literally on their beach. And then someone says, oh, by the way, your, your limit buy order um, executed and you've just bought blah, 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 blah. He's like, oh, awesome. And he continues on drinking his cocktail, smoking his cigars in the water, because he doesn't care, because he just says, all right, we'll put the sell order now in for, you know, I don't know, 88,000, which is in the future. And he knows in the future, I'll sell it again. And this is about as much as this one person cares about because, you know, it's long term investment. And this is what my portfolio is all about with Bitcoin. It's long term investment. I don't care about the left hand side of the market. Right. I don't care about the left hand side of the market at all. I care about the right hand side of the market. I care about this white area. Where is it going on this right area? Because if you can predict that, you can make money. I don't care about this left side. This left side just paints a picture of the past and it tells me what the sentiment of the market was. And I can look, how was the world doing at this one time? You can paint a bigger and bigger picture. 
especially when you start looking at the likes of of the beginning of of 2000, uh, 2020 you see a change there of what's going on so we know how the banks are going to be we know how the interest rates at one point have got to change they will change <clears throat> whether it happens this year or not they at one point will change because that's part of life and some financial crisis will happen again. It happens every 10 years or five years or 15 years, whatever arbitrary number you want to throw at it, it always happens and in different countries. And anything can happen. The sewage, sewage can, sewage, sewage canal, <laughs> sewage canal, sewage canal can get stuck again or something can get stuck again. And we have this catastrophic problem once again. So, who knows what is round the corner? But you've got to be ready, right? And you've got to be patient for when this happens. And this is what this line, this line is my patient line, right? Be patient. And when when the, the price comes close to this line, and like I said in other videos, I can move this line. It's completely arbitrary, right? So I if I think the line is going to go here, then maybe this week I think, oh, I might buy here down here if it comes down here or if I'm like mm, no I don't have much money or I think this is going to go somewhere different I'm going to buy down here now right now my right now I can show you what um, my plan is right is for the buy-in and it's Tesla right because when you look at Tesla let's just draw an arbitrary line through this right just arbitrary line that's it fl roughly 45 degree angle now is this overbought, oversold, or is it the right price? And it, it's looking like it's oversold, or it look, it's looking like it's a bargain right now. Now, is it ready to buy? Maybe, but are there other places that this price could come to? Absolutely. There's a psychological boundary here where people are going, I'm going to buy at 100 just because I can. You know, it's like, oh, the price went to 101. Well, no, I, I'm stubborn. I'm only going to buy at 100. Bang on 100 and one cent because I predicted the market to one cent. OK, so there's going to be people down here buying it. Well, if that's going to boost the price up, so, but there's also another psychological high here where people that might have bought in the wrong place are going to be selling it here to take a profit. So we have to think it's somewhere in between here right now. And yes, I'm going to dollar cost average into this, right? And I've got buy orders and I've got a buy orders for today at 3.30 just to buy a small fraction of this because they're only 170, what is it? What is it at the moment? $162 a share. And I've got a quarter of a, a share being purchased today and then I might buy another quarter during the week I might buy another quarter during the week and I'll just keep going in at a quarter at a quarter at a quarter and when it gets down here I might start buying like one share at a time and if it gets further I might start buying three shares at a time it goes further I might buy five shares at a time okay so right now I'm just testing the water I'm just going to tip in a little bit because I've got a whole pot of money for Tesla for the future right but I don't want to put it all in at one go. I'm going to put it all in a little bit at a time. And right now, when I say a quarter of a share, we are just testing the market. We're just testing the market and we're going to increase that number. And this is what you should think about doing with Bitcoin. If you are looking to invest long term with Bitcoin, you need to look at this and think, well, you know, this is going up right now. But it looks like it needs to come down. There's some psychological boundaries here where it possibly needs to test. And there might be lots of buy orders here. They're going to push it back up again. And there might be lots of people that have bought down here, selling here and waiting to buy it back somewhere in the middle to go up again. So this is the way that you've got to think about Bitcoin. Now, most important thing, and I say it in every single video, and I'll say it once again, if you are jumping in at the top of the market, right, and you are panic buying Bitcoin, if you are panic buying Bitcoin thinking, oh, it's going to go up again, and it's this, this is just a retest, okay? Don't, don't jump into this, because let's look at history here, right? Let's look at these people that can manipulate the market so well, they know what you're thinking. They know, oh, look, let's just bring it back a little bit and get people to think they're going to get rich from here. And then they bring it up. Everyone puts in even more money. Yeah, we're going to the moon. We're getting rich. And then they just dump it down. They take all your money. Your liquidity is stuck in here now. And the only thing they want to care about, and this is the only thing in their mind is, can I make the people here capitulate here, right? And so what, can I can I make them think, to panic here and can I make them capitulate down here and buy their Bitcoin back 
at a profit, right? So they sold it to you here, right? And they made you panic here. And then when it got here and you broke even, you went, oh, no, it's going to go up again. Because look at that green candle. Look, they even pumped the market back up again. And you're like, no, 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 it's fine. And they just sucked it back down the next day, right? Sucked it back down and your money's gone. They bought it back from you at a profit. And wherever you capitulated here, they bought it back from you, right? And then they just, they just literally got all the money back from all the people capitulating for how long was this? 19th of May all the way through to July, right? That's nearly two months, what is nearly precisely two months, right? Where they just sucked up all the capitulated money from every single person. And then they went on the 21st of, or the 22nd of July, 2021, they went, right, I'm ready to go now. Who wants to go? And they started pumping the market and they got a breakout. And all of the clever people here that hadn't capitulated, they went, I'm going to jump on the train once again and buy some more. So you always have to buy when people are capitulating. They have fear that it's going to go down even further. And look how many times they tested this bottom. Look, just to see, can we can we make people capitulate so much that like, oh, it's going to go even further? Patience, long-term patience. And when you see stuff like this going on, bottom, 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 testing it and testing it and testing it, this is when you start thinking, okay, it's losing its power now, right? The superpower is here. So this is this is like the first punch was strong. Second was a little bit weaker. Third was a little bit weaker. Fourth was a little bit weaker. Fifth was weaker. And the buying power just, uh, at one point, it's like... It, the, the selling power just can't do it anymore. And the buying power is so strong because the selling power is just gone, right? And no one is selling anymore, which means prices can just raise as much as possible. Because if no one is selling and everyone's buying, that forces the price up. That's supply and demand. That's exactly how it works. And then they did it again. They pumped it up, got a brand new high, made They've got two rounds at this, making profits from you here and profits from you here. And what did they do? They dumped it back down again. Did they bring it back down to the space where it was before? No, no, no. They thought, ah, they, they, they went, they played with you. They teased with you thinking, ah, it's OK. They're just manipulating the market again and bring it back down. It's OK. We're on ready for the moon up here. It's going to go to the moon. And it started going up. Everyone's thinking to the moon and it's going to have that breakout bit now. And what do they do? They pulled the rug from you, right? Pulled the rug from you, boom, and it went back down again, right? And they made even more profits from even more people, okay? And they bought it all back even cheaper at 15,000. Look at the price there, 29,000. They bought it back half price down here. And then they, then they, oh, they, they teased you, they teased you, they teased you, did it a couple more times. Then they had the final, final go and boom, we're off. Don't be caught out on this, all right? This is probably going to come back to here. It's probably going to come back to like, say, 46,000 euros, something like that. And it could come back to 40,000 euros, right? And if it's got the momentum, it will come back down to 35,000, okay? I had a post-it note. I had a post-it note on the side by my by my desk for God knows how long, and I said it will come down to thirty-five thousand. Right? It will come down to. Th my wife was like, "Okay, if he put that sign up for a reason, I'm going to believe him." Every single day, it was there, thirty-five thousand. And then, just like in the Rocky film when he's fighting Krieg, he pulls that post-it or the picture of of um of whatever his name is, and just throws it in the bin because he knew he knew that he was correct, right? And this is what you've got to do right now. You've got to have faith in yourself. You've got to have conviction. Say the price is going to come down, and I'm going to be patient. And I will dollar cost average in here. And I'm looking for the price to come up here in the future, not tomorrow, not next week, not to make a quick buck. I'm going to look at the weekly market. And for me, the weekly market is the God market, right? If I see a strong weekly market here, as far as I'm concerned, it's going to be a strong week. But um, we, we then need to look at the weekly market in context of the monthly market, right? And right now, right now, if we look at the weekly, uh, the monthly candle and see what it's got, and it went, it went all the way up and down. And if we look at relative to where it opened, it's it's come down to to yeah, around about fifty percent now. So it's lost like fifty percent of its gain. Well, no, it's it's on to sixty one. 
it's come down to the 61%. So it's lost like nearly over 40% of, of its gains already. So the question is, is, is it going to lose any more? And if we look on a quarterly basis, remember, we're coming up to the end of the month right now, end of the quarter right now, and there's going to be companies taking profits. So that's why they're probably going to be selling off because they want to be selling they want to be selling their profits off to pay their dividends. And if they can they can use Bitcoin, I'm just speculating here. But if you've got to pay your shareholders dividends, you've got to have the profit from someone. You've got to sell it off for tax reasons, this, that, and the other, because you need to have profits. Anyway, with that said, I think I've talked enough now, and uh, we're just gonna. Have a quick look, see how the market is going pre the London Exchange opening. Now it it's come down, it's tested, it's tested an area, it's gone back up again. See this the 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 the, the move zero line. It's kind of come back down. It's not looking like it's got any momentum to go back up again. So uh, I would I would be very skeptical about this coming back uh, up today. I think there's more movement to come down personally. And I would say, let's look look left. I would say that this candle is being filled. I would say this candle is where it's coming, all right, as a minimum. So move four, it's coming to 60,400, I would say today. Uh, so it's got to come, well, if it bounces off this one here, so it's got to come and retest move three, first of all. And if it if it bounces off move three and goes back up, fine. But if it breaks move three and comes to move three A, which I've got here, then it's definitely coming to move four. And the move four will be the indicator whether it's got strength to come back up, whether the manipulation that everyone is bought it all back nice and cheap. You think about this, they've got they've bought it at sixty they've sold it at sixty seven thousand and they're gonna buy it back at sixty thousand. It's a ten percent discount on it. So this is the way you have to think is, is if you've got enough money to move the market, what profits do you want to take and how far are you going to move it? All right. 10% sounds like a lot of money. If you're talking about billions, you know, 10% of billions is a lot of money. <laughs> it's a lot of money. All right. Anyway, with that said, um, thank you very much for watching. Thank you for all the support that you, you give to my channel and so on. It's really, really fantastic. I hope you haven't um, lost any money. Uh, I hope you didn't get into the into the top and uh, if you did and you've just found me on this video for the first time you know don't worry don't panic don't sell don't sell all right it's gonna hurt <laughs> I'm gonna laugh right now because this is what you've got to do it's going to hurt lots at one point but wait till next week buy a little bit more wait till next week buy a little bit more, wait till next week, buy a little bit more and keep doing it and doing it and doing it until everyone's panicking and then you'll know, ah, okay, I bought the bottom. And if you've got enough money at the bottom to buy more, buy more and keep buying more, right? Um, because at the end of the day, if you've put, if you've put, let's say, let's just say $5,000 in here, right? And you're, oh, and I'll put my life savings in and it comes down again, right? If, 5,000 was 100% of your money. I'm going to get a pen for this to make sure I do the right calculations. Okay, so if you if you put, let's say, $5,000 up here and you're panicking like mad now, and so if we t cut that down into 10%, right? So that means you've got 10 times 500, all right? And now 20% of that would then be 1,000. So let's split this now down into three times 1,000 chunks. All right, so you've got 1,000, 1,000, 1,000. And now, at the end of that, you've got another one, which is, which is 2,000. What you need to understand now is try and split it down so you can now get an average at the bottom relative to the top. So you're going to have to, over the coming months, put another 5,000 in, but make sure you're putting it in at the right stage. So when you do at the bottom, your average at the bottom is way higher than what the top is. And when it goes back up, the, the, the losses will slowly go down, but the profits at the bottom will go up, right? And the 2,000, the 2,000, the 40%, the which is what it is, that needs to go in at the bottom, all right? It needs to go in the bottom. The other 20%, like the 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, 
these can be these should be allowed to have a loss all right so you put it in bit by bit by bit and the thousands you need to split that down again and go all right i'm going to split that down again to the 20 20 20 40 once again and only put the 40 in at the bottom of that one step so you need to have like work try and try and measure where the bottom's going to be and think where is the bottom going to be well right now the bottom could be 15000 right so think I'm going to take 40% of my money and put it in at 15,000 if it goes down. So you have to try and work out what are what are the the third tier. So we've got between we've got 45,000 between it. So you've got 15, 15 and 15. So you want to be looking right now at say 47,000 as your first entry there. And then 15,000 so then 32,000 after that and so on. And you will get a really good average and it will give you enough time so don't panic just don't panic if you put your money in just keep it in because care about this white stuff up here in a long time your money's going to come back and just don't panic with that said i'm finished on this now and as far as i'm concerned um as far as i'm concerned is uh and there's many other people saying this all right Many other people saying this, and I believe in them because it happens all the time, and there's proof behind the puddings. And so, if you have been into the market, I'm going to end the video in a second. If you have got into the market, or you're waiting to get into the market, right? Uh, right now, a good place to get in, and I'm not saying it's the the, a, the best place to get in, but I'm saying it's a good place to get in, and I'm going to show you where it is. Here, move eight. All right, so that is 48,524. Now, if it comes to here, if it comes to here, I'm I would say this is your this is your your starting point, your origin, right? And I wouldn't do anything until it hits here. And when it when it does hit here, it will hit here. Okay, it will. Don't panic about it. It will hit here. And we're going to watch these videos and keep making and making them. And at one day, I'm going to I'm going to say I kept on saying it and I kept on saying it, but it's going to come here. Right. This is not a self-fulfilling prophecy. This is it's going to come here. There's too much liquidity stuck here by institution, market makers. You know what? There's too much money stuck there and they need to come and get it back. Right. This move here is nothing to them. Nothing at all. It's just a couple of months work for them. They've got patience. They think long term. They think years. They don't think days and weeks. So as far as they're concerned, to come up here, they've got to come back down here, first of all, collect the money and try and see if they can get it down here even further, ready to make even more pot profits to push it up. So don't get don't get sucked into all of the media. There, there are people, market makers with resources without, without a limit that know how they can move this market up and down right easily. OK, so this is where it's coming. Thank you very much for watching. My name is David Thorne. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all of those standard things and uh, stay safe. Don't panic. Don't rush into any trades without writing it down. What's your plan? If it goes up, goes sideways or goes down, right? What is your plan? And are, are you going to be happy with that trade in two, three, four weeks or two, three, four months? Are you going to look back and say that was a good trade, all right? If you can't do it, if you can't do that, don't do the trade. All right, because you haven't got the stamina, especially with Bitcoin. That's harsh words. You haven't got if you cannot if you cannot understand how if you cannot take that you're going to lose most of your money at one point. Right. And you can just go. It's fine. It's for the future. Don't get into Bitcoin because that's going to happen at least four times a year. Right. And is that going to be other times of the year when you go, Oh, I'm going to be rich. It's going to go to the moon. You've got to take the losses with the wins. All right. And it's all about timing, time in the market. That's what my sell orders are here for. And I kept pushing them up. I might have, I might have uh, missed out on something here. I don't care. Don't care. Right. I'd rather have it still in, um, rather have it still in. And then, um, yeah, I'd rather, because I know, I know either way I can sell, I can sell at 52,500 down here. I can sell down here and still be at a profit. Right. So I've got all this room up here, but I'd rather be in a profit. Right. Than, than, than have yeah, not had a plan. I do have a plan. And this has to correct first. It has to. Whether it goes up in the future or down in the future, it's got to correct. So when this correct once this correction is finished, that's when the uh, that's when the conversation about is the next move up, sideways or down. But right now it needs a correction. 
with that said thank you very much and i'll see you in the next video ciao ciao and goodbye